What's going on guys? Mega Gig back with another video, back with our Dark Elves Let's Play on the Mortal Empires map of Total War Warhammer 2. I want to say real quick, I, uh, I noticed on my uh, Chaos campaign that I put up the battle looks awful glitchy on the, uh, on the video. Uh, and it's really strange because it wasn't glitchy when I was playing and my actual copy of the video uh, isn't glitchy. So something to do with YouTube there. Uh, it seems like every now and then these games, um, when I put them up, seem to get a little glitchy on YouTube. And I don't know why. Because uh, they are in the, the correct format and they play just fine. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, we're going to dive into this anyways. And uh, we were replenishing up. We defended from Haygraf, Grief, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Haygraf, yeah. And uh, they don't really have a whole lot. They've got that and this here. And I would like to attack them, but we are going to let our uh, settlement rebel and put down the rebellion. Let's go ahead and end the turn. That way we can uh, get a little bit more experience. And they're not having a full army come up because our defenses at Nagarond are pretty good, but they're not stupendous yet. So... So that's something. And yeah, we've encountered a faction. Man Blight Tribe. That looks like a Beastman Tribe. Sacrifice performed by the Forge Bound. Public order. Alright. And let's go ahead and get two more units if we can. Um... Let me see, we've got, let's get one more of these, and one more of these. And that should be good. I think, and imminent rebellion, yes, I know. I know, I want them to rebel. We're building up some income stuff, we probably should build a public order building. Um, but I suppose that will be for next time. We'll get another, uh, or we'll get another point of growth in four turns and then we can upgrade and we might build a public order thing then there's the rebellion and we'll put them down pretty fast quick fast and in a hurry yeah the in turns definitely take a little longer on this one and we're just getting started so Nothing like Rome 2 yet, or uh, Empire Total War. Man, those were the days. <laughs> those were like some crazy interns. What was just moving up here? I saw something move up here. Was it a... I wonder, I wonder what it was. Skaven, maybe? Now yeah, let's just put this down really fast. Replenish most of the way up. And, oh, they're going to run. All right. More experience. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and run. We'll put them down. We could have let them raid for a little while and let this uh, increase, but... But we didn't, and we won't. And we're going for a couple of spells. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Word of Pain. It's a hex, and it's minus accuracy, melee defense, and attack, which is actually pretty nice. What's the second um, level of this compared to the first? Minus more cooldown and miscast chance and all that stuff. Extended effect duration from 14 seconds to 14 seconds. Okay. And then we did upgrade this already to add the frostbite. What else do we got? The doom bolt is really nice. Um, but let's just go with that for now. Let's kind of upgrade our army a little bit. Let's kind of let's get some of these skills in here. And then because yeah, we're using a mage too. So let's go with more of that. Let me see, why do we have... Uh, oh, corruption, that's right. Oh, we've got the Skaven corruption. 
which is actually increasing, unfortunately, because of these. So really, to help our public order, best would be to go out here and take control of that. But they've already got armies popping up over here that I don't, I don't want to deal with. Let's see. Um, yeah, we're unfriendly with these guys. And we're friendly with these guys for now. Let's see if we can get a non-aggression pact. We can't. Non-aggression pact with them, maybe? Nope. Non-aggression pact, maybe? Anybody? Alright, there we go. And, yeah, I guess we're just gonna sit here and wait for another rebellion. We're gonna have to kind of position ourselves to... I mean, we don't have good income, so we really need these these income buildings. But let's actually get rid of that. And let's put a public order building here. I wouldn't mind having one more. Let's see if we move out here. Is it going to rebel faster? It will. Okay. I want another rebellion faster so I can put it down. And I may wait one turn and let the public order increase next time before I put it down. Seems like we're just going to be fighting off rebellions here in the beginning. But we'll get a public order building going and, and we'll be alright after that. Oh, what do they want? Peace, huh? Any chance you'll pay me? Anything? I wouldn't mind peace with them, just mainly because I want to get this settlement, uh, this uh, province under my control, so that's okay. And we're going to make this rebel next turn, because we're going to raid our own lands here. Yeah, we'll make it rebel next turn. And then we'll build a public order building here. Public order plus four. Imminent rebellion. Yes, I know. And unfortunately, nothing we can do. We're just blowing through in turns here. We did get two good battles on the first one. And we'll probably let this go for one turn because uh, we're gaining plus 20 now to our, to our public order. And then before we put them down, the only problem with waiting is they build up forces as they raid. Yeah, all right, we got growth, raiding, raiding. There we go. And oh, we got a skill point from raiding. All right, melee defense for dread spears, bleak swords, black art corsairs, and dark shard units. Yes, and next time we'll get melee defense and attack. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's upgrade our our crap units. And uh, I think even if we keep raiding... Yeah, and we'll actually gain experience too. So we'll just let them, uh, we'll let them raid. Lord not moved. Boop. I guess I could... I could come over here and raid... But uh, if they run off, I want to be able to finish them the next time. I don't want to have to chase them all around and end up having them go all over the place. Uh, research, what do we got? Minus upkeep. Uh, income from ports. Public order. Yeah, let's go with public order. We're going to need some more. We were at minus five last time, and we're building a building that's plus four, and then we get the research that's plus one, so that'll even us out. And then we're also going to go up here and conquer the rest of the stuff, so we should end up okay. When you're first starting out, guys, don't be afraid of rebellions. Usually, you can put them down pretty easy, and they give your um, they give your general experience and everything. I used to always really try and fight from having a rebellion, but uh, who's this? Peace treaty. 
What? And you want me to pay for it? I don't think so. They are moving around up here, too. I just saw them. Again. Alright. Alright, let's upgrade this to a level 3. It's going to give us a better garrison. And now we can put down the rebellion. Still ought to be pretty easy. Yeah. And we'll replenish. And that put down the whole thing. Alright. And gave our sorceress another skill point. Weapon damage and missile damage. Um, affects allies in range or melee defense basically the same amount of time. So let's go with this. We just need... Uh, actually though, the level 3 burning head is kind of nice. It uh, brings the winds of magic cost down and the miscast chance down. So let's actually actually redo that. I really wish they would give you one full reset throughout the game. Now, once you leave the character, you can't reset it again. That would be really nice. Or a way to get some of the points back or something would be really, really nice. Let's see if we can't force march up here. We can't quite... We can't quite get there. But we're going to get there and... Uh, you know, we'll see what's going on up here. There's going to be Skaven in here, I'm sure of it. I saw him moving around here somewhere. But how many? How many rats must there be? It's going to be real interesting going up against Chaos later. It'll be interesting to see the Chaos Invasion. There's supposed to be, I thought I read where there's supposed to be a Chaos Invasion still on this, kind of like the first one. So I am interested to see that. All right, let's plop in here for just a little bit. Um, just to get our public order stabilized enough where we can go out here and do some stuff. But unfortunately, that means we're not going to be able to do anything. Oh, our public order building did get built. All right. We're going to kind of have to blow through some interns. Actually, next turn, I'll move out. We're not going to wait till the public order. We'll get the public order stabilized eventually. Once we take over the whole thing, we can move him back to Nagaron and start repositioning things. This is definitely a harder starting position than uh, in the Vortex campaign of this guy. They're still moving around out here. Uh, you've kind of got enemies all around you and trying to secure your province. And this, yeah, that corruption. Once we get rid of them and that corruption starts to fall, let's set an ambush. That way he's still kind of affecting the public order a little bit here. And then next turn we'll send him out. And we are blowing through these in turns, guys. Just blowing through them. There's not really a lot we can do. And we'll have to sit here for a turn or two before we move out. But yeah, they're really increasing that corruption, so we need to we need to get on that quick, fast, and hurry. And what are they doing now? Who knows? Ambush foiled. Oh, they're coming to attack me. Really? They're going to attack me with that? Oh, they're just moving by. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. So should I come up here and take this instead? <laughs> I could. Uh, let's see what they got. Let's just see. Oh, wow. Wow. Let's go ahead. Uh, we fought this last time, and uh, it took quite a while. Let's just auto it so we can kind of want to advance this campaign a little bit. This would be really nice, but we can't really spare the public order, can we? I don't think we can. Tell you what, though, we can sack it, and that will replenish us and give us some experience. Because they're not going to have anything built there anyways. And, well.
Well, yeah, I guess they do. And then we can set up an ambush and give us some skill points. Let's upgrade our units more. The only problem, and I just thought of this, the only problem with doing this early with Malekith is that later on in game he's going to actually have a superior army and he's not going to be using these guys, so I might not put any points in here. Um, if you're using a lord to be a defensive lord and uh, you want to make him spec'd out but you want him to bo boost the uh, regular units too, you can do this, but yeah, on... On Malekith, I was just thinking about that. It's probably not the best idea because you're not going to be using these units later on. Now, that's why I wish a reset would be nice. But uh, I'm not going to reset the game or anything like that. We're just going to play it. Play it as it is. Play it out and see what happens. We're still going to become really strong later on. It's only two points. It's not that big a deal. But I am tempted. To, if, if I wasn't recording, if I was just playing by myself, I'd probably reload the whole thing back before I put those points in. But uh, that's all right. That's a okay. My powers are growing. Chaos stirs. Ah, see, yes. And the Brayherds come. Where are they at? Not in my lands. Why do they have to always come to me? I mean, they're not in my lands, but chances are they're going to be coming soon. All right, let's get out of this. We'll take this. Let's just occupy. They probably didn't. All right, quest successful. Nice. Uh, oh, Circlet of Iron. We win the following battle with Mount... Oh, we've got a quest battle. Look at that. Would you look at that? Well, let's go ahead and repair this. Ah, and we've upgraded too. Let's get some more public order. Let's get uh, untainted. Yes, there we go. Let's upgrade our port. Let's upgrade our resources. Let's put... Um, can we not build defenses here? Interesting. We can't actually build... Provides garrison. One of these others provides a garrison too, I thought. But I guess not. Um, hmm. I wonder if that's in the in the Vortex campaign. I don't know. This provides units. No, maybe no garrison. Huh, I can't build a... I can't build walls. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Well, we'll build a, a harpy roost then. And we'll go ahead and upgrade this so we can get some Black Art Corsairs. And then unassigned skill point, of course. Uh, cold one. I do, I am definitely going for Seraphon, Sephron, however you say it. I'm definitely going for Black Dragon. But we can't get it to level 18, so I'm going to wait. Uh, weapon strength. Melee attack. Um, let's go with more. Let's let's go down here and get uh, get some casualty replenishment like we did on our high elves. I mean, we're replenishing pretty good, but we could have some severe battles here in a while, and I just don't want to run out of replenishment. Or run out of units so we can fight the quest battle next turn that's a thing and then we'll get our uh, circlet or whatever it is The cold one mount is actually pretty cool. It's just like a raptor, I guess. Some kind of little dinosaur type thing. It's bigger than a horse. So it's got that going for it. Your 
Rose, my lord. News of your conquests right. spreads far and wide. All right, public order, your public order. Is noted you know what? Even the most I'm going to go ahead and come and take this out before that really fast. Because... Oh, we're going to take attrition. Why? Mountain passes. Oh, bummer. See if we can go right to the edge. I'm going to go ahead and take this because I want them gone and I want to be able to set a commandment and uh, and then we'll because we can teleport to this if we want to um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead oh we have research alright let's go with income from ports because Nagaron is a port settlement so yeah income from that and oh we're gonna have a rebellion too interesting um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this because we've got we've got quite the the garrison here that they'll probably go after. Yep, I'm gonna take this. We'll put down the rebellion and then we'll come to the uh, we'll come to the uh, quest battle. Mountain passes, interesting. Yeah, this doesn't really look like a mountain pass. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's pretty open. I don't see any trees. But hopefully we can get there in one shot without taking attrition on the way. Raiding. Uh, oh, interesting. Skaven Rebels. And yeah, we'll just let that go and get our, our public order up anyway. And let's take this. Alright. And we're just going to... Well, we may as well loot and occupy. There's already rebellion. There's no point not to. And there we go. Uh, you know, I almost want to go ahead and get rid of this. Um, well, let's go ahead and get the Black Art Corsairs. I can move things around later as I upgrade. Oops. Am I getting rid of that? Hello? Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, province secured. What do we got here? All the same stuff. Uh, we've got tax rate, slaves, public order, there we go. And more skill points. Malekith, alright. And more public order. We're going to get this public order situation settled. Let me tell you. Does this count as Mountain Pass too? It doesn't. So this counts as Mountain Pass, but this way does not. Interesting, interesting. And, oh, we've got someone moving underground over here. Some Skaven, I guess. Coming over to help their Skaven rebels. Interesting. I'll probably put some walls up here when I can. Um, it'd really be beneficial to take out the Hmong clan up here. We'll see. We'll see. we got to put down these rebels and get some things secured first. All right, quest issued. What is this? They're moving under the beast path. Yeah, these Skaven are... Who knows what they're doing? I wonder if Skaven is in here. That would be interesting. And that's probably what's going on. There's probably Skaven in all those areas. So... We've still got the rebellion going. So we'll head around this way. We'll just force march our way back. And apparently that's faster. But it's going to cause... Any chance they'll give us military access? Nope. That's alright. We're already unfriendly with them. And then let's see what we can build up here. Level 2. Um... 
We don't really need growth. I mean, it'd be okay and more replenishment, actually. Our income's not doing too bad now. So let's go with that. Our public order is stabilizing. We're going to come and put these rebels down. Apparently it's going to take us a couple turns to get there. And we may actually have to defend Nagaron. Once they get to a full stack, they'll attack. And we could actually just take this while we're here. We'll see if it's... I don't think it's a main settlement. And if it's not, it'd be really hard to hold. Really, really hard. And it would put us off track on getting to the rebellion. Yeah, see, there's still Skaven in these. Gifts from Cain. So let's get back here. Has arrived. Malekith, King of I worry about being in here now, though, because uh, bombardment or vortex. Let's go with the vortex. I worry about being in here because now they won't, they probably won't attack here. They might come up here, which it has defenses, so it'd probably be okay. And once we get rid of that raiding, yeah, that's minus three. We'll be okay on public order, I think. Oh, we've got a special building here, way out here at the altar. And it gives us tax rate, recruitment for sorceresses. Lord Recruitment Rank as well, and Magic of Power Reserves, all right. Uh, but let's build... I am going to guess that Chaos can probably come around here, so I'm going to go ahead and build some defenses out there too. And we've got a couple turns, couple rights unlocked, public order. Let's do that. Let's get, let's get our public order in the works. Let's get that thing settled down. Or settled in and that is for five turns and that put us just at zero so but we should get rid of Skaven corruption now we should start getting rid of it especially once our temple gets built and this has been a heavenly heavily campaign focused episode happens every now and then. It actually happened on my high elves episode last time too so Sorry we didn't get a battle this time. I was thinking we would. Of course, if they attack me, we still might have a battle. And there is the... And they did attack. They didn't? What are they doing? These guys are suicidal. Hmm, interesting. All right. Let's upgrade this. We're not at war with these guys. And maybe they'll take a non-aggression pack. All right. So hopefully they'll get out of our lands next time because now we're suffering raiding from them. Minus three. So, but yeah, once... And our uh, Altar of Cain did get built. So... Skaven is dropping quite a bit now, and uh, Chaos is going up now, though, unfortunately, from these guys. But Untainted is going up, too, so that's going to help out. That's going to help out our um, our public order. Yeah, let's go ahead and do one more intern, see what happens with these guys up here. And I can actually manually manually set the camera settings for everyone else, neutral factions, enemy factions. We can just set it to fast. And fast. Just have everybody on fast. Just in case we forget to forget to click this. And they're still moving up, but they're not raiding anymore, which is good. And we gained a rank, we constructed, we did all kinds of stuff. 
next time we'll be doing this quest battle. Uh, and they are suffering attrition now. Interesting. And so at level 15 or level 16, we'll take the cold one. 17, we'll take the chariot. And 18, we'll get our main mount. Uh, what do we got? Let's go casualties captured after battle. Yeah, that'll help us replenish more and have more slaves. All kinds of good stuff. But we are really getting this um, public order underway now. We've secured the whole province. It was kind of a, a chore. And our... Are these guys at war with each other? I wonder who they at war with. Oh, wow, they are. They're, they're at war with all of those guys. Which means they should be improving with us, but I guess not. And we don't have... Anybody very friendly with us that wants to trade with us, unfortunately. You shall speak and I shall... Too bad we don't have any influence. Uh, Non-aggression pack, maybe? Nope. Nobody wants to trade with us. We're improving with them. Woohoo, they don't have anything to trade with. So if we could get some trade from some people, it would be all right. We are improving with them. Maybe non-aggression pact and they'll... Nope. I was hoping maybe they would um, they would confederate with us later, but apparently not. So, but yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this episode, even though we didn't have any battles and it was campaign heavily focused. We did get our province secured. I was kind of wanting to get that secured and move along. We've got a quest battle to do next time, which we'll just teleport to. It costs uh, let's let's see how much it costs. Cost 500. Yeah, that's not bad. We're not going to worry about running all the way up there for 500 gold. We've got 18,000, and we're bringing in 1,500, so that's not bad. So, uh, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do apologize if there weren't any battles this part. Uh, it does just happen sometimes. Uh, but, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. More good stuff to come, guys. Take care.